Hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me, Sahil Jagtiani, where we talk about all things related to the Indian guitar gear scene. And where would the Indian guitar gear scene be without the sun, the Gibson? It wants to be a Gibson, but it's a Gibson. Hmm. But before we go ahead and talk about it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring that bell so you can stay up to date with all our latest videos. I have with me the Super Deluxe. Is it a Super Deluxe guitar? I don't know. Um, it's a Strat copy. It's got a couple of uh, single coil pickups with on off switches, a tone knob, uh, yeah, and a volume knob. It's got a gloss finish. Here's more about the guitar. So you've seen the specs of the guitar. Uh, at first glance, I wasn't very impressed by this guitar. This guitar was actually lying in uh, uh, a friend of mine's shop. Uh, his name is Venki. Do visit Rhythm Musicals if ever you're in Bangalore. And it was lying in the corner and I thought to myself, you know, I haven't ever reviewed a Gibson on my show. So it's uh, important that I uh, review a guitar that we all, you know, a guitar brand that we all grew up with because in India, Gibson wasn't so readily available uh, and Gib Gibsons were more readily available. I remember buying my first ever electric guitar, which was a Gibson. It had, uh, uh, it was a bit of a monstrosity. It had two uh, humbucker pickups and a single coil in between and I had no idea what to do with it. Um, this guitar, I don't know why I picked it up. I just saw it over there and I picked it up and I thought, hey man, it'll be cool to review it. Um, at, first, at first sight, it's, it's too glossy, the neck. You know, you really can't move smoothly along the neck. Uh, the frets were completely rusted. It gave me a chance to make a fret polishing video, which is up on this channel. Um, the nut was, is like cheap plastic and, you know, the strings would keep getting caught in it and the tuners are like pretty unresponsive um, but the tone was surprisingly good when I plugged it in. So let's check out the tones on this guitar. Um, I'm going to be running it into the Calor Force 20 tube amp. Uh, in the effects loop I've got a flashback version 2 from TC Electronic as well as a Hall of Fame version 2 from TC Electronics as well. I'll be using a bit of spring reverb and a bit of tape delay to add spice to the mix.
So you've seen all the tonal options available from this guitar. What are your thoughts on this guitar? What are your thoughts on Gibson as a brand? Leave all your thoughts in the comment section below. We look forward to your interaction. Um, I personally am um, not a big fan of the neck. Um, the strings are pretty okay, not good at all. Uh, the frets need a lot of work even though they've been polished. I think I need to polish them at least three or four more times. Um, there's leveling that needs to be done. The neck's okay, it's pretty cool. I like the bridge. I think the bridge, it's not your bent steel saddle, so it's, it's quite good. I mean, palm muting was quite easy. Um, the pots are scratchy, not so great, definitely have to be replaced. The, the input jack also has to be replaced. The pickups were okay, not bad. Uh, body feels comfortable, it's just this neck, you know, that just keeps, you know, your hand keeps getting stuck on it. Um, that needs to change. So, the real question is, can we make Gibson great again? It starts one guitar at a time. So I'm going to do my bit. You know, I got this guitar for 3,200, about 700 rupees less than what's listed on the market rate. And I'm going to try my best to mod this guitar to have it playable by a pro who gives me a thumbs up for it and not spend too much money, maximum maybe 4,000, 5,000 rupees, try and get as many freebies as I can from my friends, from people who I know or what's lying around in my house and I'm going to make this guitar great again. Can I make Gibson great again? Let's see. We're going to start a series of this. Uh, I'm going to probably start with uh, getting rid of this red uh, color and maybe doing, oh yeah, can you see this? There are like three people in this hologram sticker on the top of this uh, guitar. Do you know who they are? If you know who they are, leave your uh, answers in the comment section below. I'd really love to know who they are. And um, I'm just going to get a new, uh, you know, paint job done for this, for this body. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, uh, the fret guard, maybe replace it. Definitely I'm going to uh, replace the, uh, uh, you know, the single coil pickups. There's, uh, you can definitely hear the 60 cycle hum when we're playing in the overdriven mode. Um, I don't know, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I have a few things lying around my house and I'm definitely going to get cracking on them. I think it's going to be a four or five part series with this guitar. I hope you enjoyed this episode today. Smash that like button, press that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos. Support me in making such crazy videos. I'm definitely going to need your help for modding this baby. Become a patron today. The link to my Patreon page is in the card above. Click it, go there and become a patron and keep on rocking.